Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I will wait for a few more people to join us before I get started, but um, whether you have to hop off or you're missing the beginning of this, there's a replay anyway, but I'll just wait a couple moments to get started. Um, but in the meantime, welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We have a very special guest today. I'm so excited to introduce you to her. Um, so you know what, we've got a bunch of you on here already, so I'm gonna get started right away. So I'm Carrie Glassman, registered dietitian, founder of Nutritious Life and the Nutritious Life Studio. And I am here today with Emily Merklin, who is our community manager. And she will um, give you a little bit of info at the end of the webinar. And also I am here with our very special guest, Taylor Walker, who is a Nutritious Life Studio certified alum. I'll tell you a little bit more about her in a second, but just a little bit of shopkeeping to get us started. Um, if you want to put your chat to all attendees and panelists, that way you can see everybody's questions. And throughout the webinar, feel free to throw questions in there. I will be checking it as we go, but also if we miss one at the end, I'll go back. And yeah, just feel free to throw questions in there for me, for Emily, for Taylor, and I'll try to get to those. And also just wanna say before I move on, just I'm so grateful that you're all here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time and for being passionate about wellness and fitness. I'm assuming you're interested in wellness and fitness and that's why you're here. Um, thank you for that. And I hope that you are all safe and healthy and your loved ones are safe and healthy. Obviously it's a crazy, time in the world and we're all doing the best we can to you know stay healthy stay sane and just manage the best we can so hopefully myself and everyone at nutritious life is helping you in some way shape or form and you will see that taylor if you have, do not follow her hopefully you will be following her after this you will see that she will provide um some awesome information for you that will hopefully help you during this time as well so anyway, today's topic, the future of fitness, innovating your business with the power of technology. And so Taylor, who I just briefly um, introduced, I will give you a little more info on Taylor now. So Taylor Walker is, like I said, she is Nutritious Life certified. And she also, which I just learned, I knew that Taylor had been a professional dancer, but I did not know that she had performed for artists like Taylor Swift and Pitbull until just about 10 minutes ago. Something new I learned about her. So that is amazing. But also um, one thing, I think another thing that makes Taylor really unique is that she has a physical ed, uh, master's degree in phys ed. So she takes like an education, she understands fitness and education, which I think really comes through in the way she um, presents content and trains people. So I think that's amazing. Um, also lots of certifications. She's uh, fitness certifications. Taylor's also a uh, instructor at Barry's right now and a mother of the most delicious little bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just an awesome woman. So I'm really excited for Taylor to um, be here with us today. So Taylor is going to, as a nutritious like uh, certified student, there are alumni, I should say. There are so many, in, we have so many incredible alumni with so many different expertise. And I really love how they all support each other, empower each other, educate each other and all of us and, you know, work together in lots of different ways. So I love being able to highlight um, Nutritious Life certified grads and then also have them, as they're so generous, like Taylor, share their information with others so that other people can learn from them as well. Because um, Taylor, like you, have just so much incredible knowledge to share. And we are all grateful for your generosity with that time you, and yeah. info today. So I'm going to let you take it away here. And, okay. you know, I'll chime in here and there. But, you know, you do your thing. Perfect. Um, first of all, I just want to Thank you very quickly and just um, for having me on here today. Again, we, we met, what, three years ago, I think it was? I three years ago yeah. after I completed the program. And it's been such an amazing journey to continue to, you know, increase um, my, my kind of footprint in the digital space. And to everyone at home right now who might be just starting out, you're working through the certification or maybe you're thinking about doing the certification, um, you know, we have time. We're, we're kind of living in this unprecedented 
um, experience right now. But the power of time of not having to do pick up and drop off, like Carrie and I were just saying, if you do have children or, you know, you're working from home and you don't have commute time. So um, just leaning into to spaces like this are so, so important. And I want to start with this slide um, because we're really experiencing um, a shift right now and social media i think pre-covid can be a very um, isolating place in terms of comparison to what other maybe influencers or fitness professionals are doing or even just in your own life in general um, but what i'm finding now is that it can be extremely empowering um, and again we have the time now to kind of explore what the social space looks like for us we can create content and build mean meaningful connections with each other so what I mean by a lot of that is, is just when I started my blog, I didn't think about it as a business. I, I sometimes I hate to admit that, but by leading into it and starting to write and create the content, the, the career followed. Um, but also as we, as we shift through that, there's also been a shift in power of the social space and, and the influencers ability to serve their communities. So for someone like me, you know, I am impacted right now. I can't go teach at Barry's. I am, I'm unfortunately no longer being paid to do what I was doing on a daily basis. However, the fact that I did go through the Nutritious Life Program and I have my social ability to connect with clients through a screen to continue my coaching business, to continue to create workouts, you know, every week I'm getting DMs and comments from from people saying, hey, I, I look forward to waking up with you on Tuesday and Thursdays and you change the trajectory of my day by doing a live workout. Like that is is me freely giving myself to the space. Um, and all of us have the ability to do that is to use our strengths and offer free content without the intent of monetary compensation. Mm -hmm. Because when we get back to normal, I do believe that yeah. that if you serve, that will come, if that makes sense. Um, so I just wanted to share today a little bit about how I'm serving my community, my community digitally and how, um, these are really increasing connections. Um, and I'll speak to it kind of pre COVID post COVID and where I think that we will be going. And again, just like Harry said, if you have any questions or you want to go back to something, feel free to send them over. So uh, tip number one, one thing I'm going to say, sorry, just before you jump in further, is it's yeah. interesting that I do feel like what you were saying about, you know, serving your community, doing those live workouts Tuesdays and Thursdays, like I do think I'm hearing that a lot from people in this industry that like they have this, you know, it's kind of what we were talking about before we started, like um, there, there is this like renewed sense or, or even greater sense of wanting to serve and wanting to give their time and energy to their community because like, again, they have a little bit of that time, but they also know that people need them. And there's a sense of like, you know, you want to give, if someone needs your information, you know, you're making them, you're making a, a, a dent in their day to the, make them feel better. It's an incredible, incredible feeling. And it's just, it's good to hear you hear that you, you say that too, because I think that there's just, it really is a, it's a common theme. And I, for people in this industry, and it's a, it's a great, beautiful thing. Yeah, and I, I think if you go through, like, you do the Nutritious Life Program because you want to give back, right? You want to help people feel the way that, that you feel, or even if it's you want to change your own life, which, which yeah. it has the ability to make massive shifts in your own life. But then as a fitness professional, too, it's like you're, you're I mean, the countless number of clients that come in in a time of loss or divorce or, you know, really trying times in their life that, that movement and fitness has the ability to, to open up all these other areas and help them find their happiness again. I mean, I know that's what, that's what fitness gave me after having my son, you know, kind of being at that place of uh, what body is this? Who am I? What am I? You're questioning everything. Now you have this, this right. child that nothing you're in control of anymore. So, so movement was the cornerstone for me not to get too far off track here, but yeah. you know, that ability to serve people is our superpower right now. Absolutely. So if you do it from a place that truly comes from the heart, you will reap the benefits later. And I think that's just a really important, um, you know, because people are struggling right now, right? They're struggling financially. And it's like, yeah, you, you want to do things for money, but how can you serve? And that service will benefit you down Absolutely. the road. Absolutely. Awesome. So we'll get into a few tips that I have for you guys here. And tip number one is give your audience what they want. Now, obviously, if you follow Nutritious Life, if you follow some of your favorite bloggers and influencers, yes, they might have these massive 
followings, right? And if you're not at that place yet, don't get discouraged because even if you have five followers, you have the ability to give those five followers what they want. You know, so when we were first starting to going into this isolation phase, I was doing two workouts three times, three times a week, two live workouts three times a week. So I was taxing my own body for really intense hit workouts. And then once I take, took a step back, I told my audience and they were like, we would prefer IGTV content because then we can go back and do it later if we couldn't get your lives. And then we can do it two or three times as like a touchstone workout, you know, to come back to later. So here I was thinking, I want to give people the opportunity to work out with me and when what they really wanted was content that they could go back to. Yeah. Um, so really kind of figuring out who your audience is. We have that time again, ask them the questions, ask them what they want. Um, and then, you know, if you want to write down, you know, if, if you have a nutrition expertise and a fit and expertise, pull in your audience, you know, ask them what they want from you or asking them the questions to write you back because you'll be surprised and that helps spark creativity, you know, which I think is really important too, because you can get so bogged down because there's almost so much stuff you can cover. So it helps you dial in to who are you speaking to? Who is your, who is your person essentially that you're trying to reach and what do they want? Yeah. Great points. Um, and then I would say also um, a big thing in giving your, your audience what they want, you know, something that's helped me too, kind of because you get kind of shifts in followership. So it's leaning in, maybe it's every week or you set a goal for yourself every month. Um, pick, go into your followers, your new followers, whether that's on your, your blog or on your um, IG and send them a DM. Say, hey, thank you so much for the follow. Um, you know, if you ever have any questions, health, fitness related, I'm always here, just know that. And it kind of breaks down that barrier, so to speak, of what you're putting out there versus what um, they think you are. Right, so humanizing the social experience, I think is really, really powerful right now because people are hurting. And like, if you take time out of your day again to serve someone else, it literally takes 30 seconds and you have the ability to A, hook a client and B, help really like feel someone, feel, help someone to feel like you're investing time and energy in them. But it has to come from the right place because it's not always about hooking that client, right? Right. And it, and it makes you, it makes what you're doing, like you feel better. It's like giving a gift, right? Mm -hmm. It's like when you give a gift, it's like the person might be happy receiving the gift, but it always feels better <laughs> with the giver. Like you feel good giving a gift, right? It's the same type of feeling, the same type of emotion. And like, like you said, whether it's five people on there, but if you're giving to those five people and they're, think about that. If they're five, you had five followers, but each of them are touched by you in a way that is improving their lives. Like think about that. There are five people out there every day they are like influenced by something I'm doing. I'm getting them to drink their water or do their sit-ups or do it. I mean, little things like mm -hmm. if you're affecting them and you're connecting with them on some level. It's powerful. Like you said, it's a superpower we have. And it's really, it's really, really amazing. So I'm glad you said that about not being discouraged about followers because it's not that it's connecting with the people that do follow you. Yeah. Co connections are so much more important. And I think sometimes what I like to do and, you know, is to picture like, is to picture like, let's say you have five followers or you have a hundred followers. Like to some people, a hundred followers are like, oh, it's just a hundred followers. Picture those hundred followers in your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's like, it's like, whoa, that changes the trajectory of everything. You know, it's like those five followers or hundred followers, like they would take up my whole house. Well, it's so funny. We were have on, on our, um, we had a Nutritious Life Studio Zoom call the other day where we were all chatting and, and somebody was saying how they were, um, doing some live workouts, like similar, they're doing some live workouts with Fitness Pro. And she said at one point, she, you know, sometimes she just has like a few people on there. And I, and that's exactly what we were saying or what, and what I was thinking, it's like, if, but if you were in a class with a few people, like you're still giving her all those few people, like exactly not many people in a class, but that's okay. Like, it's just not a packed class. It's a random time, but like exactly it's like those people that are connecting and doing your workout. I mean, it's still great. It is. And my, I have to tell you, like, cause I started obviously at Barry's about a year and a half ago and like my most powerful, of course you love a red room filled with energy. Like there's nothing better than like moving and sweating and the endorphins and the connection that you feel. But my, sometimes my most powerful classes were like those off times where I had like eight people in the room. We put them in the same, I learned every person's name. Right. I learned right. something about them. They then became my regulars. There, that community connection was built 
And they were so much in a, in a sense, they were even stronger than those packed rooms where you can't even get hands on everyone. When you have the power to put your hands on everyone, yeah. the change and the impact that you can make is so much bigger. I think that is a really great analogy to doing something like that online and not necessarily having a million people call it, like watching or whatever. It's a perfect analogy. It's a perfect analogy to the, to the digital way of connecting with people. I really, really like that. Yeah. And it's, it's, I think it takes time and it takes, you know, that, that consistent positive mindset. Um, so moving on to tip number two, transitioning to the power of IGTV. And, and I only recently because of COVID have, have unleashed kind of, or understood the power of IGTV in, in working through some webinars and, and, and talking about it and learning from people who are actually utilizing it. Um, obviously there's different platforms. There's YouTube, there's, you know, a lot of us, focused on Instagram and, and once stories took over, you know, we, we kind of moved away from Snapchat. And now yeah. there's, there's a space to the area to digitize. And I think your, your feed is different from your stories, right? Like right. sometimes for me, my stories are a place to be more authentic and my, and, you know, I try to do that in my feed, but there's a different connection there. Yeah. Um, but the power of IGTV, I think a Instagram really wants it to succeed. So the best part, I think, is that you're being rewarded on IGTV right now for posting on the platform. Mm -hmm. Um, And it is very easy to save time and energy. So for example, I do those two live workouts. So you have two options. And and I I think not every account has the ability to do this, but you can save your IGTV if it's under a certain um, amount of time. So I I just film my live workouts on Tuesday and Thursday um, that then I repurpose for content over the weekend or the following week so that people can go back to it because obviously your lives only live for 24 hours. Or I take a separate device if, you know, I'll take my husband's phone or an old phone that I have and film at the same time that I'm doing my workout. And then, then I just upload it. So I'm saving time and energy of creating a new workout. If it's a really good one, if it's engaging and fun, then I don't have to reshoot it. I can shoot something else. So it's maximizing your time when you're actually putting the content out there. And there's so many ways that you can do that now, especially if you're utilizing Zoom and things like that. Um, But then like taking, for example, like you're doing a story, right? And you do a 10, a 10 frame story. You can, you can save those 10 frames, like 10 frames and then repurpose them into an IG live. So for example, I did a video last week, our our au pair right now, she's from Italy and she taught us how to make pasta. So fresh pasta. So I did a whole story. It was 10 steps. It it was over a minute and a half or two minutes worth of content. So then what I did is I took it into an app. It's called the, um, of course, now it's slipping my mind and it's something I wanted to share with you guys. I have my phone here. It's a video shop is what it's called. And it's such a great way to edit videos. So it's called video shop. It's called video shop. I'll add it to the video. Video shop. I have probably tried to use about, 10 editing editing apps and I love iMovie but video shop for like IGTV or vertical videos you can do horizontal with it too it's so easy um and you know to to cut and paste and add titles and things like that so now you're not taking you're doing something that you did with your family that you know your audience will enjoy because you can see it on your story you have the ability to then save that story and then put it onto IGTV so that a whole new audience can see it and now we're being rewarded using our hashtags again, using, you know, fun titles. Our content is being seen by more eyes because it, it's a newer platform on IGTV. So it's almost going back to the original way that Instagram was being used. So now it's being able to pitch brands, you know, that are trying to, to pivot from traditional form of marketing. You know, they're coming to influencers and, and professionals in the nutrition and health space and saying, okay, what can we do here? So now I have a whole different way to pitch brands say, hey, listen, we can do an IGTV if you prefer, like my numbers are higher, um, it lives longer. Um, and then you can obviously create, you know, your fees and things like that that are more apl- applicable to IGTV. So it's just been a, f- a really fun way to explore. And I think you can still have authenticity and personality that might not come across in your feed, but then someone will now be an IGT power of yours and you can do fun things. Yeah. And I have a question. Do you, um, do you take your IGTVs and upload them to YouTube to have them in another place? Or do you, I don't even know if you do YouTube. I I do do YouTube and I actually don't do a ton of it, but actually last week for the first time, now that I'm having the time to focus on more video content, I have transferred from, um, from, and when I filmed it, my live was vertical. I filmed it horizontal and then I was able to upload it on both. Yeah. So then I just transferred it to YouTube. 
Right. So the reason I brought that up was I was saying, I think that there are a lot of people that have not been spending time on YouTube because they've, you know, they're doing more Instagram, let's say, or I mean, you know, that you just can't necessarily go in every platform, but yeah. it's kind of like the low hanging fruit. Like if you're creating it for IGTV anyway, you know, you don't have to go and create new content for YouTube, but if you just want something else, at least out there, at least on there, because people do use YouTube for, you know, as a search engine, right? Exactly. So at least it's like, if you've already created it, you might as well just throw it up on YouTube. It doesn't have to throw it up on everything. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and, and the great part is if you shoot horizontal, you can edit and video shot, put it up on YouTube and then transfer it to IGTV. It's, and it's, and it can still be seen on, on having a horizontal landscape shot and then it looks really good in your feed actually it looks better in your feed sometimes than the horizontal because the image is cut off so it's something to definitely play around with um and and just experiment with and you're right like it's, it's anywhere you can get your content up whether it's youtube instagram linkedin um facebook because they're all different audiences yeah absolutely you know? and and they're all feeders for your brand so it's like you never know where your next opportunity is going to come from yeah, absolutely. And they are different, right? You're, you're exactly right. There's different people seeing it. And then also it's, 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 it's also like you've done the, you've done the work, you've done the hard part, you've created mm -hmm. it. So put it in more places. You know, yesterday I said on one of our webinars that we were doing, I said, you know, instead of, if you just think of, let's say, I'm just picking a number, if you normally produce five pieces of content, maybe it's, you want to produce three, if you, let's say you produce five pieces of content and you put each of them in two places produce three pieces of better content and put each three in five places or four I places. I love that. Right? So you're getting so much more out of what you're creating and the content you're creating then can be even better because you're spent, you know, you're focused on it more. So anyway, it's, it's just some, another, another way to think about that. But we have a question from someone here. Corey is asking, how long are your workouts typically? Typically, I think the sweet spot is about 20, 20 minutes. Um, I think enough where they can work up a sweat and, and really kind of get their heart rate up so that you feel better. Um, I enjoy 20, 30 with a warm up and a cool down. Yeah. Um, I find that people start to die off lives or not complete them anything over that. I also feel like for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like when people are working out at home, they tend to do a little bit shorter workout. It's like squeezing yeah. in the 20 minute workout in the morning or in the afternoon or maybe around lunchtime, like people are kind of squeezing in those at-home workouts. So they don't necessarily have the full hour, which is why maybe, well, now they're not going to work out elsewhere for other reasons. Exactly. But, but and it, it, so it, people are still squeezing them in, in between things. And I think that's the important. It's like squeezing them in, or they might want to do 20 minutes in the morning. And then that, that three o'clock slump or after the like wind down time, they might want to do like a 20 minute yoga. So it's, it's kind of piecing together. And, and, if I'm being honest, I think it's hard to stay motivated for a full hour when you're trying, when you're doing a video, you know, it is a little yeah. bit harder than when you're at your favorite group X class or things like that. So I think 20 minutes, 20 yes. to 30 is that sweet spot. Yeah. Agree. Okay. And then um, tip number three is really about using your connections and leaning into those who, you know, um, obviously Carrie, Thank you again for having me on here today. But um, last week, I, I've now I think I'm booked for four webinars or something like that in the last because people are now realizing the power of what Zoom can do and what these Hangouts can do. And people like we just talked about before prior to hopping on here is that people want the content. Um, so last week, Barry's actually came to me and we've been doing a lot with the women at Facebook group. And, um, so it's all the women at Facebook and I got to sit on a panel and, well, it was, it was a panel of one, but I, I hosted a workout and then we talked all nutrition tips and, um, and exercises in COVID and, and all these things. And it's been really great also connecting with my fit friends and my nutrition friends. So on top of, the workouts that I'm doing, I'm leaning into my community and hosting live chats. So this week I had my friend Lauren Chambers, she's a hormone health coach. So we did a series on sleep, skin, and stimulants, a coffee and wine. So we had a 20 minute like fireside chat that then lived on um, and we were going to repurpose into a blog post and, you know, possibly an IGTV. So that's content that it was just so conversational, but it's like you put out a schedule on an email blast or, or you post it on your Instagram yeah. and, or on your blog in the, you know, on Sunday night and then people tune in. Um, and it's a way for your friends to get, you know, eyes for, on a new, un, have 
your audience on them and vice versa, because then they promote, you cross promote for each other and everyone has different strengths to bring to the table. And I think, you know, and Carrie, you can speak to this a lot is a lot of us are doing the same thing, but our approaches are different. Our audiences are different. And I think if you're just starting, it can be extremely overwhelming. Right. And I, I've been doing this, you know, digital health, wellness, nutrition now for five years, but it can sometimes be, you know, I feel bogged down because I'm like, I don't have a hundred thousand followers. I'm like, are people even there listening to me? And, you know, everyone, everyone at every level, I think experiences that. Um, But I think there's, there's also power in that because all of a sudden you'll get that DM or that email. Yeah. And, you know, and and I think it's such a good point because, you know, something I always say to everybody is that like, the reason there's a lot of people doing this is because a lot of people want this. It's Mm -hmm. a good thing. It's a good thing that there's a lot of people out there. And it's also a good thing because we're helping a lot of people, but no one is you. You are, you are your superpower, right? Every single one of you out there, like you are your superpower. You are the only you. And that's so important to remember. And you might have, yeah, similar philosophy to this one. And, you know, I mean, there's, there's only so many ways you can talk about, let's say kale, right? I'm just using that. Right. Or how many different ways to push up, but it's still, no one is doing it exactly like you and no one is exactly you giving that information and people relate to different people. You can say right. the same thing, right. As somebody else, but they might relate to the way you're giving that information, you know, like, so it's just, it's like, you have to really believe in yourself there that like, there is no other you. And then the other thing there is that, and this really relates to the digital side of it is that the world is your oyster. So there's like mm-hmm. you said at the beginning, you're, you're doing workouts live with people from all over the world. So even it, like, so you're your own, you, you're you, you are your superpower and you have the ability to reach the world. So even though it, you might think like there's other people doing this or there's other people doing that, there's a lot of people in the world, mm-hmm. too, right? There's so many people out there that, um, like you don't have to just focus on, oh, in this, this area or where I live or my community. The world is your oyster and you are the only you. And I really feel like people have to like believe in that and remember that because there is a reason there is a lot of us. And it's because a lot of people need us and a lot of people want us and are interested in this information. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, that was, so, it's so powerful to hear that. And it's like, okay, keep it coming, keep it coming. Because, you know, it, it's when you're starting something, it can be so scary. I mean, did you ever imagine that nutritious life would get to this point? I know you ta- you've you've talked about it a few times, but I mean, the massive impact, I mean, it, I wait for your newsletter, you know, <laughs> like oh, it's, so it's but, but it, there's such a, you know, but, but I think the first time we met and I think why I connected to this program so much is that, you know, you, sp- you spoke to me and, and it was such a real world approach to, to nutrition. I think what I was seeing out there was so black and white. And when I, when I sat back and I was like, who is Taylor Walker? And like, really, I didn't figure out what my blog focus was until I digested that information and wrote my mission statement and, and, and spoke out loud who, who I was trying to speak to. Right. Like, and so when I, when I, found your program and like listen to you speak it was like okay she's she's my people like this is how I want to learn and digest my health and wellness information I you know so it's but that's a perfect example also of like you utilize the information in the way that's right for you and your brand and who you are and for your message someone else might hear that same message and they might relate to it but they're going to utilize it still in their own way for their own purpose so I think that's a really, really good point. But we have another question here. Sorry, just going back to the IGTV stuff. Katie says, she's late to this question, but I. Ha- but she says, I have been um, having such a hard time uploading things to IGTV. Do you have question. any questions for this? Yes, get them on your computer. So I was doing them from my phone and I had to do them in two parts if they were over 15 minutes. And not only that, it would take forever for them to start to upload and then they would time out halfway through. So once I, um, I would airdrop them on airmail or if you could get them off your phone somehow and get them on, on your laptop, you can upload, I think it's up to 60 minutes on your computer and it is like a fraction of the time. So try to do it on your computer and it should make it a lot easier. That's a great point. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. So I guess, one more thing I just wanted to go back to tip three um, is just if you are looking to do anything right now in terms of like using your connections to lean in, pick like two or three people from your network and just reach out to them today. 
Yeah. I would say right. that that's the best thing you could do to just rip off the bandaid. It's like, we all have people within our network and you'll be really surprised. Even if it's someone who you think would never like sit down and chat with you to send them a message right now. Yeah. I think that's such a great, great, great point. And it's like those things too. It's like, sometimes like you don't, it doesn't have to be this like overwhelming thing. Like, okay, wait, I got to reach out to people in my network. Okay. Next week I'm going to do that. And then it hang on you and feel like, okay, I'm going to do that. You almost build it up to be a big thing. It doesn't have yep. to be a big thing. It literally just be like, wait, right now, send a quick email. You don't have to even draft a perfect email. You don't nope. have to draft a perfect DM. You don't have to make a big deal. Like just right now, two people, boom, message them, message them, be done with it right now. So yes, I love that. Very, very inspiring, Taylor. So all of you on here right now, we're going to go do that right now. If you're a wellness right program, now, okay. immediately. <laughs> no, but I love that. I love that because that's what it is. It's like those little things you have to just like, don't make them into bigger, don't make yep. them into big things that seem like a big thing on your to-do list or make, you know, right. or you're like intimidated by, just go for it. Just do it. I like what you said. Rip that bandaid off. That's yep, awesome. You do. Yeah. These tips were really, really helpful. Really helpful. Thank you. Um, and I know, thank you about answering that IGTV question for Katie and um, the length of the workouts, all of these things and the apps you're using, the video shop, like these are all really, really helpful for people. And again, I'm so thankful for your time. You're just really so generous with your time. You're such a rock star. You're doing so many incredible things with your thank background. You. And I really love how you've combined your background in dance your fitness certifications, with your nutritious life certification, with your phys ed, your master's in phys ed. I mean, it's such an incredible like combination of, you know, expertise that you've really um, mastered and put together in such a beautiful way. And of course, I appreciate also, you so much. And you're just the cutest mom ever. And <laughs> Thank you, have, you. you have great, your motherhood content, your mommy content too. I was saying it's just, it's really great as well. Thank so, you. I, people don't follow you. Sorry. Sorry. What were you going to say? No, no worries. No worries. As I said, the, the ultimate equalizer of motherhood. Right. Oh my God. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I think we're all feeling it. We're all feeling motherhood. If you're a mother, you're feeling it hard right now. And I mean, yes. you're feeling it. You're feeling the mom, the mommy. <laughs> no matter how old your kids are, you're mommy hard right now. Mom Maybe to the back. Where can people find you um, in case they don't uh, follow you already? Yeah. So on Instagram, it's just Taylor Walker Fit. All my social channels are Taylor Walker Fit. And then my blog is taylorwalkerfit.com. Awesome. Awesome. Very easy. Yeah. So I'm going to let, um, I'll let, let Emily chime in here. And then if you have any other questions, everyone ask some questions here. Emily's just going to give you a, a little bit of info on the Nutritious Life Studio and, but ask any other additional questions you have. We're going to hang on here for a little bit and we can go back and answer those before we wrap up. And I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out and staying around. And if you aren't already Nutrition Slice certified, if you've been thinking about it, I just have to say from the bottom of my heart, what a amazing tool and resources it's given me, especially as a fitness professional, being able to then coach my clients outside of a traditional fitness space and bring that, um, you know, knowledge over to my blog and the social sphere has been intangible. So I'm going to say, if you're thinking about it, again, rip that Band-Aid off. I'd say just do it. So Carrie, thank I just want to you. thank you guys so much for having me today. It was so much fun. Uh, we loved having you. And again, thank you so much. And you're just such a wealth of knowledge. And you are just, yeah, you just have this amazing energy and spirit. And we <laughs> love hearing from you. So thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, Emily. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Taylor. I think everyone is going to be more connected today. I think we keep saying, too, while we're doing all these chats, that everyone is using this time to stay more connected virtually and talking to people they haven't talked to in so long. So I really hope everyone gets on their phones or on their, in their inboxes and messages someone to collaborate. I think the connection right now is what we all need and you guys can all do that as whether you're a Nutritious Life certified already if you're watching this or if you're interested in it, if you're a health professional, definitely get yourself out there, get some content out there for sure. Um, but to talk a little bit about the Nutritious Life Studio. So like I said, we're, Taylor is fitness, nutrition. We have so many different people. We have chefs. We have um, anything from like Taylor's also in this group, moms that are interested in nutrition. So whether it's nutrition for your kids and your family, personal trainers, fitness instructors, dietitians, nutrition coaches, health coaches, anyone. And if it's even if you're not a health professional and just want to, you know, learn all this information about nutrition, 
maybe a little bit of business information and counseling information so that you have that for yourself so that you're able to better your own health. We have so many people who are in our program too who are in a health professional and it's just for their own health. So that's really, really great too. And of course, it's taught by Carrie. So you're taught by a registered dietitian and it's all evidence-based, all science-based nutrition and counseling clients and learning how to build your business from social media to making those connections. Um, our level two program has more about the legal aspects of that. So we really go into everything there. And we have two levels. So level one, some of you on this webinar might already be level one certified. And that is a 13 week program. We have six guest expert teachers on there also and 12 lessons all taught by Carrie. So it's all go at your own pace and you always have access to all of this content. So you're able to refer it, refer back to it a few years later, a few months later, or if you're not able to go at the pace that we're going, you can take longer. So you're really free to explore it however you'd like. And we also have level two, which we're excited to tell you a little more about on the next slide. So it is a 20 modules with over 101 lessons. So we're going even deeper into the nutrition science, coaching and counseling and building your business. So we have the accelerated program where you can do both. So they're both would happen in six months and level two is six months in itself. So tons of amazing information there. Um, like we kind of mentioned before, you get access to our amazing community. So we have a Facebook group, we have Instagrams, the Nutritious Life Studio and Nutritious Life. And we have Zoom calls, we have webinars like this, we have book club. So many opportunities to interact with your fellow Nutritious Life certified students and grads. And one-on-one -on -one with Carrie's during the class and after, you always have access to all of us here. We're always here to help you. And also access to exclusive masterclass. So that is once a year. And throughout the year, we're always interacting online virtually. So this is your opportunity to interact in person. So get to know those people that you've been talking to in Facebook and in book club and emailing and really just get connected with people that are all like-minded. And we are so excited to let you guys know that enrollment is opening on Monday, April 13th. So just a few short days away. And you can go to nutritiouslife.com slash TNS and get yourself signed up on the wait list. All of the information you need to know will come straight to your inbox. And you can learn a little bit more about those courses there too. So level one and then our accelerated level one and two program. And if you have any other questions, you can email me at emily at nutritiouslife.com. You can reach us at TNS team at nutritiouslife.com. And just make sure you go to this link here and you'll find all the information. But thank you, Carrie and Taylor. It was really amazing and inspirational. Like, like I said, I think everyone is definitely going to get more connected today after that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Emily. And Taylor, thank you, thank you so much again. So yeah, I think thank got, you. Yeah, I think we got to all the questions throughout. So if Great. you have a last question, throw it in now quick, or you can always, again, you know where to reach Taylor. You know where to reach us, Nutritious Life Official or the Nutritious Life Studio on Instagram. You know you can email Emily or TNS team at nutritiouslife.com. So you know where to find us if you have a question after this or you're watching the replay. And again, Taylor, thank you so much. And all of you out there, thank you for being here on this webinar today. We appreciate your enthusiasm and passion for health and wellness. And everyone just stay safe and healthy. Mwah. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.